In section 7.3, we're adding and subtracting rational expression with common denominators and talking about the least common denominator. So our objectives are to add and subtract rational expressions with the same denominator, find the least common denominator of a list of rational expressions, and write a rational expression as an equivalent expression whose denominator is given. Whenever you're adding fractions, you must get a common denominator. For example, if you have a fraction a over b plus c over b, you can add those together because they have a common denominator. And when that happens, you add the numerators together to get a plus c all divided by b. Let's add and subtract as indicated. Simplify the results as possible. Example A is 3 over 12x plus 4 over 12x. We can add those two fractions together because they have the same denominator. So you're going to add 3 plus 4 in the numerator and keep the denominator as 12x so that your final answer is 7 divided by 12x, which can't be simplified, so that's our final answer. In Part B, we have two fractions with the same denominator. Here we're subtracting. So let's take 8a plus 2b and subtract the entire numerator, 8a minus 2b. That goes in the numerator, and our common denominator of 2 goes in the denominator. Let's simplify the numerator by distributing the negative sign. Distribute that subtract to get minus 8a plus 2b all over 2. Now we can simplify the numerator by combining like terms. We know that 8a minus 8a would give us 0, and 2b plus 2b is 4b. So we have 4b in the numerator divided by 2, but this can be simplified even further by dividing out a2 from both the numerator and the denominator. So 4b divided by 2 is equal to 2b. That's our final answer found when adding, well actually subtracting, those two rational expressions. In example C, we can add the two fractions together because they have the same denominator. So we keep the denominator as y minus 1 and add the numerators. 7y squared plus a negative 7y is 7y squared minus 7. We want to continue further and simplify the result as possible. We can do that by factoring out the, a 7 in the numerator, a 7y in the numerator, and you can factor out 7y and you will be left with y minus 1 in the numerator and another factor of y minus 1 in the denominator. We can simplify because we have a common factor in the numerator and denominator so that our final result is 7y. In example D, we can add these two fractions together because we have the same denominator. So in the numerator we have m squared minus 7m plus 12 and then the denominator we keep that common denominator of m minus 3. In the numerator, we can simplify. We know the factors of m squared minus 7m plus 12 is m minus 3 and m minus 4. The factors of 12 that add up to negative 7 are negative 3 and negative 4. Now we have common factors in the numerator and the denominator that we can divide out, and our final answer, simplified, is m minus 4. We can subtract these two fractions together because we have a common denominator. So we're going to take the numerator 3x plus 2 and subtract the entire numerator 2x minus 5 all over the same common denominator of x squared plus 4x minus 21. Let's distribute this numerator, distribute the negative in the numerator to get 3x plus 2 minus 2x plus 5 in the numerator over the common denominator of x squared plus 4x minus 21. Let's combine like terms in the numerator to get 3x minus 2x is x, and plus 2 plus 7 is plus 2 plus 5 is plus 7, over the denominator x squared plus 4x minus 21. We can see if we can um, simplify even further by factoring the denominator, keeping the numerator as x plus 7. The denominator is factored into x plus 7 and x minus 3. We do have a common factor in the numerator and the denominator, 
So we're left with just x minus 3 in the denominator, and when you're dividing out something by itself, the result is 1. So we keep a 1 in the numerator over x minus 3. In these examples, we're finding the LCD, the least common denominator, for each list of rational expressions. When you're looking at finding a common denominator with coefficients, we want to list the multiples of each of those coefficients. Well, the multiples of 20 are 20, 40, 60, 80, and so on. And you can keep going and so on. And then you also want to list the multiples of 36 to get that least common denominator, where 36, the multiples of 36 are 72, 108, 144, 180, and so on. Now the least common multiple is 180. So that's going to be part of our LCD. The LCD is also going to include the variable x to the fifth and x to the fourth, the least common multiple of those, in this case would be x to the fifth. The LCD is going to be 180 x to the fifth. But the common factor of x, we use the highest exponent as part of our LCD. In example b, the expressions are 2 over x plus 3 and 3 over x minus 5. So the LCD here is going to include one factor of x plus 3 and the other factor of x minus 5. That is our LCD for the second example. And then for example C, we should factor before we find the LCD so that our first rational expression can be written as 4 over, factoring out 3 from the denominator, a plus 9, and the second fraction is 6 over, factor out the common factor of a, and get a plus 9. So our LCD is going to include the 3 and the a, those coefficients, 3a, and it's also going to include the common factor of a plus 9. So our LCD can be written as 3a times the quantity a plus 9, or you could also write it as if you distribute to get 3a squared plus 27a. For these examples, we're going to rewrite each rational expression as an equivalent rational expression with the given denominator. It may be helpful in some of these examples to factor. We begin with the fraction or rational expression 3 divided by 8m, and we want to write it as an equivalent rational expression with a denominator of 72m. What you want to think about here is the, the first denominator was 8m, and it was multiplied by something to give 72m. So the factor that it was multiplied by is 9. So we multiplied the denominator by 9 to get 72m. That means we're also going to need to multiply the numerator by 9 to get an equivalent rational expression. So in the numerator, we have 3 times 9, which is 27. So the, the rational expression 3 over 8m is the same thing as 27 over 72m. So 27 is the missing numerator. Let's look at example B. We have x over x plus 4. We want to find the equivalent rational expression where the denominator is 5x plus 20. But 5x plus 20 can be factored, factor out the common factor of 5 to get x plus 4. So in that case, you can see that the denominator, the original denominator of x plus 4, was multiplied by 5 to give you that common denominator uh, or the equivalent, the denominator of 5x plus 20. So if we multiply the denominator by 5, we also need to multiply the numerator by 5. So 5x is our missing numerator in the equivalent rational expression. So we can say that 
x over x plus 4 is equivalent to 5x over 5x plus 20. In example C, we have a divided by a plus 3b equals something divided by a squared minus 9b squared. So let's begin by factoring the denominator of the equivalent. And that looks like a difference of two squares. So the factors are a plus 3b and a minus 3b. So you can see that the denominator of a plus 3b was multiplied by the factor of a minus 3b to get that new denominator. So if we multiplied the denominator by a minus 3b, we also need to multiply the numerator by a minus 3b. And then if you distribute that a, we get a squared minus 27, oops, I'm sorry, a squared minus 3ab. So we can say that a over a plus 3b is equivalent to a squared minus 3ab over a squared minus 9b squared. So the missing numerator is a squared minus 3ab. Let's find the missing numerator. We can begin by factoring the denominator. The greatest common factor can be factored out of an x, and you're left with x squared plus 2x minus 3. And then that trinomial can further be factored into x as the single factor out in front, and x plus 3 and x minus 1. So we want to know what the missing numerator is in the equivalent rational expression. So as you can see, to find that missing numerator, we need to make sure that we figure out what we can multiply this denominator by to get that new denominator. And what is missing is that factor of x plus 5. So if we were to multiply the denominator by x plus 5, that would give us our new denominator. Now we also need to multiply the numerator by x plus 5. And when you do that, the x plus 5 times a negative 25 we get negative 25x minus 125. So that's the missing numerator in the equivalent rational expression.